Exodus Slayer, does your perspective shift when you are focusing on Slayer either creatively or in the studio or in the live environment? How is it different? Slayer is not a run around all over the stage jump off the risers kind of band, you know, neither am I because my knees are shot, you know, but if in an Exodus show, we're still crisscrossing that stage, you know, at random, nonstop, and that's not Slayer. That looks stupid, you know, if I was up there running around, you know. I mean, I saw someone online who called me a, a prancing, prancing fucking ballerina once, you know, <laughs> just for what I do in Slayer. <clears throat> and I'm like, fuck, you know, I guess they just won't want me to do anything. What do you think you bring to this band? That's a good question. You know, I try to bring energy and I, I try to keep everybody smiling. I think I'm a good bridge between all the guys and keep everybody happy. Because I'm always in a good mood. It's, it's rare for these guys to ever see me pissed off about anything. You know, because I'm living the dream. I'm playing guitar. I have fire on stage, all right? You know, it's like when I was a kid, at 17, I started playing guitar. You know, we dreamed about blowing everything up setting fire to everything on stage and I actually get to do it. So I'm super happy. I'm happy that Exodus is doing so well. And I think when you're an eternal optimist, like I tend to be, even though there's so much to be you know, pessimistic about in this world, you know, I just, I just want to keep everybody smiling. You're a busy man, you're 51. People don't know, I think, how hard it is to do what you do. What keeps you motivated? The fact that I love doing it, you know, it's like that hasn't gone, you know. <clears throat> I'm, I'm over a half a century old, you know. That's, I'm, I'm almost an antique. But I still love doing it and I go really hard live because I refuse to let a guy half my age best me at that. The difference is after their show, they hop on their skateboard and they go floating around and they go drinking all night and they're fine. And me, I'm looking for a bathtub, you know, and I'm gobbling 1600 milligrams of ibuprofen. And, you know, and dealing with the age, but during the show, you know, I, I don't ever want to look old and slow and tired. You know, it's like, you know, we get gray in the hair and gray in the beard and shit, but you know, I, I still love doing it. I love headbanging. I love headbanging hard. You know, it's like, you know, I, I don't want to be that, a shadow of my former self. You know, I am committed to this shit and I'm not m mailing it in. And I'm not a guy that they say, wow, I remember back in the day when he was like so on fire on stage and now he looks like he's just here for a paycheck. You know, I'm, I'm here because I love doing it.